Farmhouse Fabrics. We do have Regina <laughs> with us around the bend here, but we have lots of girls that want to talk a little bit about some of their favorite things and um, their favorite colors. And so, and and then we have a couple of boys that want to join us. Come on, boys. Oh gosh. So, so here's a little handful of some of my grandkids. I'm gonna let them tell their name. We're gonna start with the boys. Can you come a little closer so they can see? Come right in here, Elias and Elijah. <laughs> can we see them? Okay, all right. So welcome to the Winkters and Farmhouse <laughs> Fabrics. We've got a lot of Winkters here, don't we? Yep. Yeah. And so we are going to, first we'll start with Elias. You want to introduce yourself and tell, tell us how old you are. Um, I'm seven. <laughs> Next week I'm going to turn eight. That's My right. name's Elias. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're going to have a birthday. What day are you going to have a birthday? Uh, the 23rd. Oh, you know what? Mine's the 20th. Oh, you guys are close. <laughs> and I'm only going to be eight. <laughs> so Elias is one of a set of twins. And the interesting thing is that they were born on Father's Day eight years ago. I was too, when I was born. Oh, were you? You were born on Father's Day? <laughs> yeah. Man, what a great gift for a father. And so then we have a big brother. So introduce yourself. Your name is? Elijah. Elijah. And how old are you, Elijah? Ten. All right, and you're going into what grade? Fifth grade. And you like to play sports. What's your favorite sport? Basketball or football. I think, yeah. You're you're good. You're. I always would think you would say football first, but but you like both of them. So, <laughs> who's next? To me, to me. How about Madeline? Okay. Because uh -huh. age. Oh. <laughs> So who are you? Madeline. All right. What's your father's name? Jason. Your father's name is Jason. Is he my oldest son? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how old are you, Madeline? I'm seven, about to turn eight in yeah. August. There you go. You have a birthday coming up, too. <clears throat> and so um, then we have next. In, she's a little bit younger. Going okay. from youngest to oldest, right? Oh. Okay. So then we have Madeline's sister, whose name is Ella. And Ella is how old? Ten. And so, what you like to play sports? What's your favorite sport? Uh, softball and basketball. Yeah, that that was fun. That was fun to watch. And now we have somebody very anxious to come in and say hello. So <laughs> scoot right in here. And what's your name, madam? Lala. All right. And who's your father? Joel. Joel? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask. Who's your father? Joel. And who's your father? Joel. That's right. And who's your father? Joel. That's right. So, how old are you, Lila? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think for a little bit. And you, Lila, is, were you the only girl in your grade that threw 10,000 baskets last summer? Weren't you the only girl in your grade that did that? Lila is a very determined person. When she decides she wants to do something, she does do it. But I'm the only one who made all of them. You it, made all of them? Out of everybody. Oh, she didn't just throw the basket. She actually made 10,000 baskets. And so the only ones you counted were the ones you made, right? Yeah. And so then, last but not least, always the oldest, right? <laughs> What, what do you want to say? I like to um, play softball, oh, basketball, and track. That's right. But I, I think softball is my favorite, but basketball is like tied. And then track is my least favorite. <laughs> She's been practicing pitching, haven't you? Yeah, but I like to catch more now. Well, you're good at it, too. That's yeah. fun. I don't, pitching isn't my favorite. I like to catch and play first. That's good, and it's good to have somebody in those positions that can do it. All right, now we're going to scoot. And what's your name? Emma. Yeah, and how old are you, Emma? Uh, 14. That's right. Oh. And so who's your father? I already Joel. asked you that. I wanted to see if you got it right both times. <laughs> what, do you like to play sports? Yeah, I like, uh, my favorites are softball and track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's, really she's a great runner. It's been really fun to watch. Yeah, she's faster than me, sadly, but I'll get there one day. Oh. <laughs> and these you guys like to run, too. You'll be as fast as she is. Yeah. 
So they have all taken all your comments that you gave us on the, you know, what your favorite needle is and do you drink coffee or tea and they have cut up all the comments. So we'll have to have them back to have um, somebody draw the name for the winner for the prize. But anyway, the, but Emma said she found a ribbon that she really loves and so she, so I'm going to let you show it and oh, it tell it. So you guys scoot just over just a tiny bit then let Emma show. Okay. And she had an idea about how to use it. So that's called, Emma, double ruffled ribbon. I really like this. Isn't that okay, pretty? So I was so passing it when we were running around somewhere. <laughs> and then I looked at it. I was like, I'm going to show this to Gigi. It would be super cute as like a little dress strap like this. Like just over cute. the shoulder like that. And also, it would be kind of cute if you like tied it too. Oh, it would be very cute tied. Yeah. I love that. And then we picked out a bunch of colors. So then... The other girls are going to show you their favorite colors. And this is called double ruffle ribbon. We have it in like one inch and inch and a half. So who's next? Viola? I like these two colors. So this is what color? Pink. Boy, and that one is, is that one called bright pink or just pink? Pink. Pink. Yeah. Okay. And then Ella's next. <laughs> what about Ella? I got, I picked out these two colors. Um, this one is mint green, and this one is an ocean mist blue. Oh, I love that. And then what about you, uh, I Madeline? Have this, I, stop. I have this ivory <laughs> color, and I have this light organ color. <laughs> <laughs> light it's all right. It's pretty. It's like a lavender, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a lavender. So anyway, all right, you guys, they're decorating the mannequins. Boys. You can use some of that ribbon if you want to, to decorate the mannequins. Oh, never mind. Yeah. One more thing, because they, not only have they been cutting out the, the names, they have been making, we call them Charlie's machine cleaners because Charlie was uh, Kristen's oldest, was the first one that um, started making these. And so the girls and the, the, the boys, you made some too, didn't you boys? So can you show them what they, these are? Show them how many you made. We made probably like this many. So if you buy a Charlie's machine cleaner with their two for a dollar, um, these oh, all these out. hands right here have made these. I made most of them though. Oh. <laughs> Will you come here to make? <laughs> yeah. So they they're made with this is a this is a coffee stirrer, and this is a um, pipe, cleaner. pipe cleaner, and so you can reach in your sewing machine and clean out clean out all the dust and everything with these because they're long and you can reach and all that so these all these kids have made these for you Isn't that cool what are you oh. <laughs> oh my goodness okay you guys all right everybody thank you else. thank you I thank want you. Decorate a mannequin. Oh, I got the go, go go you can sure thanks thanks guys girls and now we welcome Regina. Ta-da! <laughs> to the to the rescue of her Sally. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're wonderful. I appreciate it. Love all their comments. <laughs> yeah, they're they're fun. Just a lot a lot at one time, right? Yeah. But that actually, you know, this actually is, looks like winter school let out. It, it does. We now we have Ella and Emma and Lila. This this is a picture. In the magazine, this is Regina's scarlet pattern, and this is Regina's daughter. Man, have they grown up? I'm telling you. This is um, yes. Classic Sewing Autumn 2018. But we're gonna we'll show you why we have this. But my goodness, these these are cute girls. I'm gonna go to the overhead, and that'll be with um, um, Facebook and YouTube for a minute, and I'll show you a close up of, of these kids. Look at that. Yes, it, it's. So this is Regina's daughter. She was probably about eight there. Now she's Man. 15. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to get a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. She's a young this lady one, now. It's Kaylee. And then this one up here is Kaylee. So we made this in a lot of different styles. And then here's a picture of this is uh, Kristen's oldest daughter, Charlie. And here's Emma. And Charlie's was in a plaid flannel. And then it had a little belt across the front. Did it go all the way around? Can't remember. I, I made remember. it, but I can't remember. I and then Emma, Emma's dress was in um, silk new peony, and um, this was topics. Kaylee's was Liberty. Uh huh. And then this is Ella. Ella's was in Liberty. 
and then Lila, um, that was a kind of a flannel twill kind right. of, mm -hmm. but you did an embroidery on I did on the that, embroidery on, on the there. front, uh-huh. And then this is a, a denim -y. This is Kristen's second daughter, Andy, and this is like a lightweight denim mm -hmm. fabric. Mm -hmm. That was that was pretty awesome. There were that so many ways to use that, use that pattern and to make it so different. Each one was so different. Well, now you've done it so many other different ways, Right, too. by using smocking and then yes, yeah. this is your... Well, maybe I just show this. Because, yes. So I'm going to go to, back to the overhead because we have been working through some of our really cute cherry ribbon. In fact, that's part of our, part of our um, giveaway. giveaway. Mm -hmm. It's a French ribbon woven it's a jacquard and jacquard means the design is woven in and it's really really cute and so i said you know what i use that on regina's pattern and we used it on, on red corduroy we went down mm -hmm. the um the inset piece the, yeah and then across the front and then put a little bow right here mm -hmm. so and then also put it on the little cuff put it just around here on a little cuff so we have um we've made assortments I'll put these right like that. We've made assortments out of that cherry ribbon, and they're nine yards in each bag, nine yards, three yards each of three different colors. And I'm thinking that they are $7.50. $7.50 instead of like 20 something dollars. Yeah, I should, yeah. I should have the answer to this, but yeah. The, they're regular two ninety nine a yard. Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six ninety one. Regular cost. And it's seven. They're seven fifty mm -hmm. per assortment. So Red we have deal. yeah. Mm -hmm. We have like we have these two assortments, and then we also have some really cute ones in the teapots, and the and uh, tea kettles. So that's why we have our giveaway with linen. These are it's, really cute, and these if you're given a gift, you could do a hand towel with this for somebody that likes tea. See, that's you know, what this, tea, uh, we have towel. some linen, yeah. linen in our giveaway that they could make a right. tea towel. Yeah, I saw, um, didn't you do something like I that? I did a lot it of tea like towels. You did, you yeah. did that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I wanted to show this, and then of course we had all the extra little helpers. Right, we did, <laughs> <laughs> which was fun. Oh my goodness, man. So we're going to talk about needle threaders, huh? Yeah, because our question was something about what's your favorite needle. Right. And, you know, I can't tell you how many people said, my favorite needle is the one I can find. <laughs> and the one I can see how to thread. And the one I can see how to thread. And that's what one, it was the one I could find. Then Emma, her desk is right behind mine, and I was reading them, and Emma said, that sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> and she's right. Yeah, that's the, that's what somebody at my smocking group asked when we were doing a, a project. And they said, well, what needle do you use? I said, whichever one I can hold on to, I can see how to thread it and find it. <laughs> it's like, you know, I know, remember Miss Dot, she taught us one time for a class doing embroidery. And she got out the needle and she handed it to me. And I, I was trying to get it from her and I couldn't even find, I couldn't even feel oh, the thing. Oh, it was thing. so tiny? It was so tiny. And then when I looked at it, I was like, well, where's, which end's which the, <laughs> which which end end thread? the eye? <laughs> and she's like, oh, here. And she did it and she just threaded that needle. I'm like, got to be kidding. Well, it came unthreaded. And I oh. sat there forever. I said, Miss Dot, I cannot do this. I cannot use it. The needle was not even an inch long. And the eye was so tiny; it was about like the thread. Well, she does, she and did she do used that those, tiny, and she did. Work. And she was, you know, wow. what, about eighty-five at that time. Yeah, and I'm yeah. thinking, oh, my goodness, I, I can't see this. So, yeah, I get a big needle and uh, with a big eye on it. <laughs> this is big. And that, <laughs> but my favorite one is this one, the clover okay. double needle threader. I'll show you that one because I, I got this came in and I was out here and I got it. I couldn't see the uh, the pleater needles to thread those, and I'd stand there. I mean, yeah. I poked and poked, but I was like, "Oh my goodness, I can't do this." So when I got this, it stays exactly in one spot, and that's I use it just for that. Well, uh, Ariel, who does all of our pleating for smocking, uses a pleater uses a needle threader to thread the needles on That's the pleater the only way I to do, do all, all that. And yeah. it's so much faster. It is so quick yeah. because, I mean, you just stick it in there, pull it through, pull it out. And, and it's 
fast. You know, where you, you sit there and you waste all your time trying to poke that. Yeah. Where is this? You yeah. know, no matter how I put it or put the light on it, I could not see the needle. Well, Jeannie Baumeister told me about this needle threader, but you know, that's kind of a pretty big hook. It wouldn't to, go. I have that. It wouldn't, wouldn't go, go through, through the eye. Most this of my needles. This one is called the Lauren or Loran, L-O-R-A-N, and that Jeannie Baumeister recommended that um, from Old Fashioned Baby. But that, that hook is pretty you have Pretty to have big, a large I think. Eye. You have to have a large eye mm -hmm. to, to do that. Well, easily yeah, maybe for your machine. Long needle. eye needles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long eye needles. But this is only like two fifty or something like mm -hmm. that. So then um, now this, this one I think would work wonderful oh, because it's this so has tiny. a tiny. This is a clover. It says quilt needle threader, ideal for fine needles, and it's and a little I, heart and shape. And that's exactly what when you're using a tiny embroidery needle. Yeah. That's exactly what you need right yeah. there because. You could thread much easier. And it's cute. It is cute. Yeah. Now this guy is by Clover and it's called Embroidery Threader. It has a unique design, a flat tip for easy threading. And, um, but you know, I don't think that, that, one. that has to go through a long eye needle too. But smooth threading, even with thick threads, it says. So this one. I'll have to try that one and give you by a Clover Embroidery Threader. Critique on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Take it with you and try it. Yeah, I'll take. I'll I'll try this one and tell you how it is. And this this one is from Soline, and this uses only fine use fine needles sizes four, five, six, seven, and eight. They must have different sizes yeah, for this. They must. And then there's some kind of a. I had one of those too, and I never could get that to work either. Really. Mm -mm. But most of the Soline products are awesome. Yeah, I love Soline products. Yeah. You know, maybe I just did not have one of those needles. Then this guy, this is a big old guy. This is this this has <laughs> I'm having a sneak. We sneaky. got creepers in here. <laughs> yeah, they're they're playing hide and seek. They said, "Can we play hide and seek in your shop if we don't run?" So they're and, creeping around. Yeah, they're creeping. So this has a magnifier. Yeah. And I think that's that. That, that would that be, might good. be good. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna go to the overhead and I can show you. Yeah. We'll show so you this. Yeah. Here we go. Right there. And. Are we, can we see them all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have a lot. Do I ever use one? I don't use one. I do this and this and well, this. Well, she had one of her Cadillacs fixed, so she's getting yeah. the other one done, so she probably <laughs> won't need any of these needle threaders. <laughs> I can see out of this eye, but not this eye. So she's still blind in one eye. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. But I can remember um, because I've been doing this for a long, long time, and and. I'd be around those those older ladies that were like in their fifties. <laughs> yeah, those and, real old ones. <laughs> yeah, and they would be going, "I'm having a hard time saying." I thought, "What is the matter with them?" You know, it's like. <laughs> I know. I used now, to do the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I have to. Should I put it over with a dark background or a light background? And I'm like this, and then I'm cutting it off, and I'm licking it, <laughs> rolling it, and poking it through, and. Like yeah. you know, hundred years from now, if these clothes last that long, your DNA is still going to be on them. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hey, you want to talk about these buttons? Sure. These, these fun buttons here. So Emma has pulled out a whole bunch of fish buttons. Emma, are you going to put them in the newsletter? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. She, Emma likes to likes to find different themes and find things that haven't been featured in our in our website in a long. I mean, on our newsletter in a long time. These are so cute. Jeez, I love oh, these. Oh my goodness, these are like translucent Emma? and they're, they they're so pretty. So this one is like a fish in a fish bowl. Uh -huh. Oh, this one too. This guy, yeah. two different colors. Oh, you guys, these are these are adorable. And we'll go to the overhead and get a we'll get a man. These are hard to see because they're so so opaque. I guess you know if you hold it up like that though. Yeah. The end of the yeah. Hold the end. Yeah. Then they can see it, right? Oh, maybe not. No, see, it goes yeah. in with that. So it really here's is. A, this is for your the fisherman in your life right here. This yeah, guy, that's, that's that's for Father's Day. If you make something for Father's Day, you could put that fish on. There you go, there you go. And there aren't too many, so you better hurry up. Yeah, hurry up and get your <laughs> get your trout. You can tell anyway, you fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look what I caught you, honey, a trout. <laughs> I just put it on your favorite mug rug. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. So those are really cool. Good. All of those. So you'll be seeing yeah. those in a newsletter coming up, and. Um, That'll be, that'll be fun. Yeah. You know what? There are two more in those. Oh yeah. Here's some. These more are fish. bright. These are funny. So this was in our in a really really good um, 
creamer bottle. Yeah. French vanilla, no. <laughs> so you yeah, those, they're blue and green. Those. Yeah, and they're cute. They have, these are actually made in France. I remember getting these. These came from um, a children's wear company called um, Mulberry Bush. And they, they have... Well, they come in four colors. Yeah. Do you have four colors? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah, have all these. Full these are, these are really... Those are really all I grabbed in about two minutes. Yeah. We've got way more. And then yeah. once I started thinking, I wonder what all fish products we have. We've got a bunch of jacquard ribbons. Oh, right. We, have some we do. Motifs, appliques. We have right. some cute little... Yeah, yeah. This is... They're cute because they have a little um, white... Um, they look like they're hand painted actually, yeah. like little fins, the fins are painted on. Okay, you know what? That one's actually a little different from this. Yeah, this, this guy has um, eyeglasses. Oh, he does! Doesn't he have eyeglasses? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> He's got eyeglasses. That's yeah. funny. This is, these are cute. Yeah, these so, would look really cute on a, you know, if you smock an inset and then you put little fish across it. Yeah, or, you, wouldn't have you, to, know, you wouldn't have to embroider it. You don't them. have to smock a uh, little fish. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, those are really cute. We're getting this table cleaned off so Regina can show you what she's been up to. But the other thing, in, in our newsletter on Thursday, we talked about Peter Sham ribbon. And um, so I always, sometimes I, when I, I would list it, Peter Sham and Grow Grain, you know, kind of like in the same family. I knew that they were different because um, grow grain has a really flat, straight edge. It's really called, sometimes called a fused edge. And then probably, let's see if they can see the on the close-up. Um, nope, wrong way. You can see that it has, can they see it? You think this little tiny scallopy edge, it's almost like the, the, threads go up and down, up and down, up and down, and then it's not a fused edge, it's a scallopy edge. And the way, the, you can go ahead. This, this ribbon, I have taken this to the, to the sewing machine, and sewing machine, ironing board, and you can, you can shape Peter Sham ribbon. So I'm going to go back a little bit. Peter Sham ribbon can be shaped, and it's used a lot in um, tailoring. I mean, for, for us, I use ribbon just for garments mm -hmm. and hair bows mm -hmm. and sashes. And, and the reason I actually first bought Peter Sham ribbon, the really nice rayon, because I was shopping with my um, future daughter-in-law at a wedding department store, not a wedding, at a wedding shop. And I thought, they're charging like $30 for this piece of ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of ribbon to just tie around the waist. Is, like, you've got to be kidding. I need to be carrying that well, that's stuff. Right. That's what I thought. I need to order that stuff. And so my favorite ribbon company is uh, Ribbon Connections. I love them. That's where we get our silk satin ribbon and our double face polyester satin. They carry the beautiful Peter Sham ribbon. And so I, I ordered it because it's real, real drapey and beautiful. And... Um, so, you can embroider on it too. Yeah, you've done that. Yeah, uh, you can embroider, put little designs on it. And one time I made a, a birthday dress, and mm -hmm. I put the little birthday cake with the one on it on That's here right. to put around the front. That yeah. was cute. And it, was, was, it was really cute. It comes in maybe nine different widths or something like mm -hmm. that. It comes up in in, um, in a pretty wide width, might be even three inches or mm -hmm. seventy five millimeters. I know, and um, and then all the way down to. Probably a quarter inch, quarter inch something like yeah. that. But I wanted to, I actually had never shaped it before, but when I was uh, reading about it and, and to write up the newsletter, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, this is really used a lot in tailoring. Mm -hmm. And so people will use it on the inside of a waistband and it's shaped. So this, the narrow part would be up close to your, the higher part of the waistband and the wider part would shape like going toward your right. hip. Mm -hmm. And they also use them to go over boning and corsets because it can be shaped in the curve mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. But you can't shape <coughs> grow grain. Grow grain doesn't shape. It, we definitely use it all the time for sashes and hair bows and to sew straight around the bottom uh -huh. of a dress for decoration. No, and, I, and I can see where they would put that on any seam or some seam or something that inside. Actually, something, that's you know. what they said. They yeah. bind, they'll bind seams mm -hmm. with it. Because and it would be so soft. It you is know? soft. Yeah. And to go um, on the inside of hats, like right. in mil yeah. mil mm -hmm. millinery. Right. Like around the band on the inside. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, they, I, use, they use it. I thought that. I'd seen that. Yeah. So Peter Sham is named after 
a man from the 1800s. His name, his last name is Peter Shan. And he developed a type of weaving, they said, that was kind of bumpy or rounded or whatever. And and so then um, that's why it's capitalized sometimes. Because yeah, I think it's there's after, a town in England called Peter Shan. Yeah, I think maybe. I've been there. <laughs> Oh, all right. That's, I think yeah. I remember driving into Peter Sham. So Mr. Peter Sham had a town, too. He did. He yeah. probably named it right after him. Well, I love the ribbon, and I made um, Ella a dress, and it's this one right here. So it was, um, so pretty. isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. This is this is a uh, fabric from Spain. Look at and that. Oh. <laughs> when, when I sewed it, I thought, I looked around and laying on the pile of the junk on my table. There was a ribbon. There was this roll there. of ribbon. It's Isn't Peter it amazing what you find around here? <laughs> Just like, laying there. <laughs> that was like the perfect color. It did. It's beautiful. And so it's um, polyester. And, and uh, oh, I like the way you did this little lift of side seam. Well, it's actually made to tie in the back. Yeah, but I like and, but the way you did I just, Yeah. I just did the, the loop to the loop loops. and then it ties in the back. But... Um, but then I, j I just sewed it along the top of the ruffle and then put a little t put a little tie at the sides to tie mm -hmm. in the back. And the, But the color is so cute it with it. It is so pretty. And then so um, summery. Ella wore it Sunday to church and then she brought it to me and said, I'm thinking that this would be cute with a little ruffle added, <laughs> added at the shoulder. Can you do that, Gigi? And I'm like, sure. Yeah. I think I'll get it done this year. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, she asked won't. me. She asked me today. Did you sew the ruffles on my? I'm like, Lila might wear this next year with I, the ruffle on the arm. <laughs> you know, normally I would put it in the seam, right? Yeah. Um, well, I wouldn't after I have to redo it. No, I'm not gonna do no. it. I'm gonna just like I put this little gusset here to raise the armhole, mm -hmm. and I just top stitch it. I'm thinking that we're gonna just top make stitch. An angel sleeve we're gonna make an angel sleeve and top stitch it to the. Don't put you think? Yep, put it in there and then. That's right. Do I need to add ribbon anywhere? I don't. Do I? No. Okay. Mm -mm. We're designing here while we're Unless talking. Unless you like, you know, once you do it and you see how it looks, then you might want to do it. Yeah. But it, I think it looks really cute. But I was going to say, it does like to unravel. And so um, I I just put a little bit of fray check on the end of the, mm -hmm. of the ribbon. And then this is polyester. And since I saw this, it's, I mean, who knows where I got it. It comes from the same company, Ribbon Connection. Mm -hmm. So they have like 150 colors of polyester. In nine or ten widths each. Whew, that's a lot. Where of am I going to put that? <laughs> Where am I going to put that? In the next container out back. Yeah. But anyway, I think we're going to be getting some because I love it's, it's what really Peter Sham ribbon yeah. does. So anyway, hope you try it. It's going to be fun. All right, we have lots of oohs and ahs over the dress. Oh, good. Yes, and it's so pretty. Mary Lynn Rawlings wants yeah. to know if the Peter Sham ribbon. Is crisp enough to stand up to making a nice hair bow? No. 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 Prob probably not. I you oh. could do a hair bow, but it's not gonna be it, it's gonna be drapey. It's gonna be floppy, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be drapey. No, we'll just yeah. do it like this so she can see. But it was really pretty on those wedding gowns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so see if you have I'm a bow. Go to the overhead and yeah. too and it's gonna be like yeah. that it's not going to be stiff no mm -hmm. very pliable but um yeah but isn't that cool look at how that shapes but you could use your lace shaping board if you have one or um the ellen mccarn mm -hmm. if you press that right, the sheet the ellen mm -hmm. mccarn smock and block right and put that on on your ironing board and then shaped you could shape your, your ribbon around that mm-hmm Okay, here we yeah, go. So that, that's really cool. I love the Peter Sham ribbon. You know what? I'm going to show one more thing I found mm -hmm. in, in this. You know, when you go through your classic sewing magazines, we were just saying, I can't believe all the cute stuff you see that you didn't pay attention to before. This, I love this hat. This is, this is the article by Wendy Shane with a dress and the hat. I'm going to show it like here. The hat is really cute. Yes. Don't you think we need to make this? I think we need. I'm going to go to the overhead. This is so cute. So is this in their download, you think? Let's see. What it so let's see. This is a download. 
It's a 1930s yeah. tab dress and hat pattern, sizes two to six. So if you have this, look at here's another another view. Yeah, it's so How cute. How cute is this? So everybody knows Wendy Shane has her artwork. Everything is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I never paid attention to the hat. I didn't either. But I love the hat. So anyway, if you don't have this magazine, we do have we do have this issue. And um, when you get it, it has a code in there that you can download that, that pattern. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's the dress and the hat, sizes 2 to 6, and it's by Wendy Shane. So It is adorable. I know. I think we have to make one. I do too. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so do I. This and plus, this magazine comes with uh, the scarlet dress pattern that Regina made. So that that pattern pack that's in the pattern pack and i think you'll really like that if you don't have it oh no it, kidding it's, everybody loves that it can be made up for summer it can be made up for winter it, it's just a versatile pattern all right now i've talked way too much Whoa. because regina has brought some cute stuff to show <laughs> you know of course at the last minute it's like okay what am i gonna do i i had my grand <coughs> twin granddaughters who are 14 at my house this week and uh plus i've gone out of town to virginia last weekend and, and came home and and so I haven't done any sewing, basically. And so yesterday I thought, oh, I gotta do something. <laughs> so that's what I was thinking today at twelve thirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, last time I was here, Sally had organdy on sale, and so I was going through the colors, picking out, and I thought, I know exactly what I want to do with all this stuff. And so I was going to start working on it, but maybe not quite so fast <laughs> until yesterday. Ooh, and I we, thought, did you do that yesterday? Yes. Oh she my put me in goodness. high gear yesterday because I knew today I had to go drive an hour to take them back Man. home. And uh, so it was like, okay, I have to get busy. So they were entertaining themselves yesterday afternoon. And so I got busy on the embroidery machine because I was going to make a doll this dress. so cute. And I love to use Kathy Harrison's In the Hoop machine embroidery designs so kathy yeah. harrison is what's the name of her company why can't i think of it cat is not kathy is it just kathy harrison designs or it's something beautiful and wonderful there is there is another name but i just she, always her, say her work look is, up kathy harrison you'll find her designs custom keepsakes custom keepsakes keep right. you cannot believe the beauty of no her and work. it's not and, and what i'm working on is just for doll dresses but they're also you can turn these same designs into children's dresses which i plan to do also on some of them but yesterday i got started and i pulled out this organdy and i thought okay we're going to go with purple what do i do with that so i looked it up and i and i brought these pieces because it's nowhere near the skirt's still on the machine but the because uh, i ran out of thread but um i wanted to bring the pieces to show you it, it's like a step-by-step -step thing and so when you download the design you cut your piece of fabric to fit and she tell all the instructions are in the in the book that comes with the designs and so you just use one piece of organdy and one piece of stabilizer oh and this is so done is it is it a wash away stabilizer yeah or well away? i cut it away but i'm going to wash the rest oh, of okay. it i cut as okay. much off you know so i don't want it going down my drain right and uh but anyway i had never done machine embroidery with a wing needle and so it said this called for a wing needle so i put it in there and it's like Oh my gosh, look at this. It's actually it sewing and not first. falling apart. I can't believe that. Yeah. Okay, let's let's go to the overhead and show that. So wow, these are that each, is amazing. you know, it's like each design. I just went in and sew each design and then you put them aside. And, and then when you get them all done, when you cut these out, you cut them out right on the line, she tells you. And then you have a quarter inch seam allowance and you just sew all your pieces. And once you sew your pieces together, you have your dress. And they're look absolutely that. gorgeous. That. This This is so cool. Wow. And so that was the, the collars. Okay. And then this is a sleeve. Okay, I'm going to swing it around this way. This is, look how cute this is. And then this is the other sleeve, so I can hold it up yeah, and show Yeah, that's these. right. Yeah, so you just have your little pieces. So that has the wing needle mm -hmm. in the, in that little center. You, that you start out with the, put the wing needle, it tells you when to put it in, tells you to take it out, and then you put in the regular needle and it sews the rest of it. So is it a wing needle, like just a normal, mm -hmm. your normal wing needle that you put Yeah, she said you can machine. use any size, and I just used the smallest one I had. Wow. So, and then this is the bodice of the dress. Okay, I'm going to go back to the overhead and show the bodice. And we're going to slide it this way a little bit look at that so here are the tiny little shoulders so it mm -hmm. stitches around the design yeah. right it it, the pattern it, it. that's your pattern that's your dress you, it's wow. ready to cut out and sew together 
So the seam, the seam, is that the sewing inch? line yeah, or do you, you go inside? Right, you cut it right on that line and then you cut, you sew a quarter inch. Wow. Look how cute that is. And it's so pretty. And they, and she tells you exactly, you know, where to cut, how to cut it and, and all that. The only piece, and she puts paper pattern pieces in the, in the pattern. Oh, she does? Yeah, because you need to cut out a lining for the bodice. Oh, okay, and, right, right. Yeah. And, uh. I, I still have to do the back bodices. I just got the front ones. So but cute. these are the sashes. They'll be on there. And all you do, this is a small, you can put this in a, these are done in a five by seven hoop. And this is done in a, it could be in a four by four hoop because all you do is you just have your fabric big enough and, and it just sews this much and then puts that design there. Oh, I see. So you, you see where the tiny, line stops yes, here? Yes, yes, I do. Well, that's right. how much it sews. Here, 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 and mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And then you just cut it out the length it tells you and the width because you just gonna fold it in half and cut oh, it. Oh, 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 this is going to be double. Mm -hmm. this. You sure? Somehow. It's supposed yeah, but to be. What, what does that do? Hmm? Because it's got your point. Well, I might need to do this. It's going to be like this somehow. Or I might have should have cut this bigger. Maybe I should have cut it bigger. Maybe I have to do this again. I think so. Let us know next Anyway, time. yeah. Okay. Because this should be wider. Gonna... This piece should be wider. So the next one, I'll just redo these because it took like four minutes to yeah, sew this, this out. Yeah, this will be quick. And it needs to be cut wider. I think it needs to be about uh, six because inches probably. you can't fold this in half because no. it's mm -hmm. at an angle. But the way it looked in the design, that's how it's, uh, that's okay. what I thought it meant yeah. to do. Yeah. Because they sew out at the same time. Oh, well, they do? Yeah. But maybe well, this is meant to go back to do to back. this. Oh, so maybe that's how it's supposed to go. Right. Yeah. And then you have. I bet that's what it is. And I just did. I did one and cut it in half. Okay. So see, I can screw up too. <laughs> <laughs> and you learn something you messed new. Up, and it, it wasn't until I had to work? bring this today and say, "Oh, I have to sew these two pieces again." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but I don't that's think, okay. I don't think that matches. I'm glad that this was the sash that I did that too, and not the oh, other man, piece. Oh man, no kidding. I but like that Sally didn't go along with it. She's like, "What'd you do here?" No, <laughs> no. <laughs> and that's a good thing because when I got to that point, I'd you be going. You could tell like, we're friends because yeah. she could do that to me too. No, I would have said, "What did I do here?" <laughs> like, and oh, Sally God. didn't say anything about this, and so I would have been really upset then. <laughs> That ain't gonna work. No, Sally's gonna tell me just like I tell her. <laughs> like, I'm really? like, this is such a sweet little sleeve. It's got a little scallop bottom. So you just trim that little scallop and mm -hmm. that's, that's the and it's finish. finished. And the hem oh. of the dress will be exactly the same oh, way. I love it'll that. be this design, but then it'll also go down at the bottom and do that. So this is gonna go all the way around the hem. Mm -hmm. So how many times do you have to like move your hoop to? I make use that a large happen? hoop and I. And I do two of these panels in one go, so I have to do three. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you just use one long piece of fabric. Yeah. And you just keep moving it down. Yeah. And keep it in line. Oh, it's so cute. Regina, but, which collection is that designed from? Uh, dolls, the dolls and guys, or guys Hello, and dolly. Guy, yeah. Gals and dolls. Gals that's and probably. dolls. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you can use these. Like I said, you Look can use these designs on big girl dresses. It's so you know, cute. You can you can put this on. You know, you just cut a piece of fabric big enough to cut your. I would draw my sleeve if I were making it for a two, three, four, five year old, and then you would just center your design on that sleeve or on this. You know, you wouldn't oh, have to do this, right? Or right, you can right. continue doing this. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, but she has it for children. But she also has the one mm -hmm. for. For girls and dolls. So oh, she in the does. girls' She's got the, dresses, they have the doll dress. So they're really beautiful. Well, I can tell you this. I've been to markets mm. and shows where she has a booth. And she's a showstopper. You just sit there and drool. I'm I know. You, they're I mean, just it, so You can walk beautiful. past a lot of booths. But when you get to hers, yeah. you just, you're taking All her back. samples, they are just absolutely gorgeous. And you know that my sister has sewn some of those samples? Really? Yeah, that's awesome. She met she met her in uh, she came. Well, they're they're and, just gorgeous and I'm did a you. um a couple of shows with me. Mm -hmm. My sister did in uh, Birmingham, uh -huh. and Kathy Harrison was there, and, and and she did the yeah yeah. Well, they're just beautiful. If you ever have a chance to see them, and, and if you do go to a show and you see them, you'll you'll remember. So it's good that she had my sister because one of our sisters in law, I know she doesn't watch this, so I can say this. <laughs> <laughs> she said. Now, Sally can sew, but Ruthie can really sew. <laughs> that was
that was like 40 years ago, and I still remember that. <laughs> yeah, Sally doesn't forget anything. <laughs> so, Ruthie can, Sally can sew, but Ruthie can really sew. Yeah, well. And that's true. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Maybe it's because she finishes it all at one time. How about that? Well, Maybe. she does. Not only that, she made her husband's suits and stuff like oh, that. Oh, well, she can oh. really sew. <laughs> like... I'm not kidding. And they look amazing. Yeah, yeah. well, that's... that's okay, I'm color. looking at the gallery on um, Cassie's website. Uh -huh. So, yeah, definitely get on there and look. Yeah. It's amazing, They're right? Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, they are. You They're very inspiring. Want her, her work is fabulous. And look at these. Now, I just want to show you these colors of this organdy because it's so beautiful. This is from Switzerland. It is just lush and I can't wait to figure out which of the patterns I'm going to I use know. next in the designs and what color thread to use because, it, oh. You know, um, back back in the day, back when I first got started, we could get, we could get Swiss organdy in lots of colors. Mm -hmm. And I guess because it's such an expensive fabric and, and maybe not as many people are using it or something, but but you, but it's hard to find in colors and oh, these one, colors are yeah. beautiful one time i was in philadelphia and uh, i was shopping at a place it was a retail business i did order wholesale from them but i went back and here are these bolts 36 inch bolts of fabric i'm like this is swiss organdy oh my goodness and it was from some old store mm -hmm. and so hmm. and it was a dollar a yard oh. so did i go home with the oh. truckload <laughs> They probably didn't I'll have take, any left when Sally left. I'll take all of that. <laughs> yeah. I'll take all of that. I'll take oh all of that. Oh, my goodness. And all of that. Because you just cannot and find you that anymore. And how you could not do it. Because when I saw these, I'm just like, right. oh, my, I don't know right. which one I like the best. I just love all of them. So, so. The, one, of my, one of my vendors looks for stuff for me. And, and she called and said, I don't know if you're going to want all these colors, Swiss organdy. And, of course, of course I wanted them all, you know. But, unfortunately, it wasn't a dollar a yard anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But... Mm. But now you really have to talk to people about how to use it because right. because a lot of people have never used organdy before. Mm -hmm. And when they ask, like, how do you wash it? Well, you know, that is a good question because I don't always know how to answer that question. Because you don't want to throw it in the washer and dryer, but maybe it does wrinkle. But it does iron but out. But you just press it out. Yeah. You press it out. I haven't washed anything with it, but I would just probably you know even hand wash so put it in a thing you, and soak it and when you bring it out and hang it to dry but then press it when it was yeah. still damp yeah when you do that yeah and starch it i would starch it back because yeah. i like things real crisp and i don't think you're pretty. gonna have to starch this but you may not have to and you might want to wrap the seams because if you make it make it for a child it's gonna right itch you definitely that. would would want it yeah. to be uh i know that stephanie dabs that we've had here but when you do it and you do she, a lining in it you they she would does fill it. organdy dresses for her yeah. kids that are in pageants mm -hmm. and um and she totally encases all the seams right yeah otherwise the kids are walking around like this doesn't feel good <laughs> it would not feel good yeah this doesn't you know. feel good but there's other things you can do with this too and all right i show you i brought some I use it to make flowers and things to embellish with. Oh, yeah. And so when I make them up, I make a whole bunch at one time. And oh, so I, I did this. bring a piece of that to show you because this is, I just that. hoop this up and put it in the. Put that over the top of something where they can see the, see the design. See the flowers? I'm going to hold that up here. Can see the flowers and then I'm, we'll go to the overhead. Something's falling around over there. Okay, here we go. Let me bring it this way. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see the flowers and then you just trim them out like this one. Let's see, there's one that's been trimmed out. Did I get that on the. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah. So, you just trim. Oh, okay. Trim the flowers. Oh, is this out. through two layers? Uh -huh. through, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this I don't use a stabilizer. Oh, because the organdy acts as a stabilizer. It's a stabilizer, so I just double it and uh, put it in a five by seven hoop, and then I just keep moving it down. So does it? Does this design have a lot of? I mean, do you have to move your move it to get no, your flower? No, they're all on there. Okay. 
or if you want to move them you can move them and put them in however how many you want to get into the hoop you know and i was just doing a five by seven so i was putting as many in there as i wanted this is a really cute design that would go around the hem of a dress wouldn't that it be would cute? be really really pretty be yeah pretty as a band in a dress mm -hmm. i love that and then in the centers now these this design is by abby hawkins from a bit of stitch mm -hmm. and i think it's sweet stems maybe is the the designs but when you cut this out it has the center little dots that is all by themselves in the design and so when you want this somewhere on your dress you just put it on there and you move those dots over to where you want it to sew out and you put it down and you put the yellow thread and it just sews those dots right in the center to attach that to the dress oh my goodness and so i'll show you that so ebby how i Abby did that Hawkins, and tell me again it's called stems and sweet stems sweet I think stems it's sweet stems and this is the sample oh, of it. Oh, this is cute, you guys. Look at this. This is the sample that I brought to show you. Oh. Because it's, uh, these are the little yellow dots. And it sews down right in the center. And then, then the flower can just kind of curl up or do whatever it wants. Oh, that's so cute. And these are little dragonflies. They're in there also. You make the little dragonfly wings. And I have a whole bag full of those. Because you can... You can put like 15 or something of these and sew them out all just put it on and let it sew and let them look at you yeah. and uh then you just cut them all you know sit watch tv trim them all out and then put them in bags and that's what i do so that whenever i go to to look for something i have it already made that is cute and these are leaves or bigger design that are leaf patterns all right we'll go back to the overhead so they can see i want to show look at these flowers They're so cute and then this what kind of stitch is this on that you did that's on your madeira stitch. that's a pin stitch mm -hmm. very these cute. are some of the bigger leaves you know if you want to make something that's you can make a bigger flower you could put it like for a corsage or something i use them on cards i want to make my cards oh, right i use these and put you know I, I usually make a bigger flower because I have some bigger flower designs, mm -hmm. but you just put them there and then stitch oh, it down like Regina, this. Oh, that's so pretty. And you can put it like right on your, All right. your clothes. I'm going to have to show it again uh, overhead. Yeah, you just have your, have your leaf and sew it down like that. that. And they come out really, really pretty. And it just it just changes things up, so that's what you can use your organdy for. So all of these flowers are from Evie Hawkins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, and the little dragonflies. And the little dragonflies, and there's butterflies. We have butterflies here of all colors. Whenever I start sewing butterflies, we just make butterflies. Oh, look at that. There are 26 designs in that set. Oh, 26 yeah. designs? And they're just beautiful. Oh, these are so look, cute. See how delicate okay, I'm going to go the overhead again so you can see these yeah. delicate little butterflies they're so sweet and once you make those it, it'll tell you the file says butterfly body uh -huh. so you would just download the butterfly body and then you would take this and put it down and it'll stitch out a line and then you i just use a little bit of uh glue so uh -huh. line glue stick it on there and put it down and then it'll sew the body on it sorry k miller says those baggies need to be buried under something on sally's desk for next week <laughs> 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 that one made us laugh out loud. Matt, they were over there giggling. They're, they're laughing. Out. I'm like, I wonder what right. somebody said. Hey, what is so funny over there? Now Our we know. Our zippers aren't undone. <laughs> Sorry, Regina, didn't mean to interrupt. You know, I have I no, to yeah, that is too funny. That's funny. That Becky is. said, Sally, that embroidery machine is calling you. I know. <laughs> hey, you know what? I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah. And she's got all the organ here. The organ she's got oh, the machine. Man. I have no excuse. Yeah, so... We need to anyway, teach, I wanted teach to show the grandkids that, you know? how to do it. Maybe it'll actually get done. It probably would. I very love quick. that. I just yeah. love that. So this pattern is actually Tiffany Noel. Oh, I need to go back to the... This is Tiffany Noel. And here is the Tiffany Noel pattern by Bonnie Blue Designs. This is a cute, cute pattern. She's been out with that for a while, but it's such a popular... It was one of my favorite yeah. dresses, and when I made this, yeah. I just, I just absolutely loved it. I love the style. Now and this you, is out of Alona. That's pretty. Oh yeah, and I, I knew I, I was at a convention actually in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I walked through and I saw Evie's. That's the first time I'd ever seen any of her work, and I looked up and I saw these designs on the board, and I thought, oh, 
oh my god, I have to make those. So I bought the little CD and I came home and I and I thought I know exactly what it's going to go on because I think I had just gotten oh, that pattern. When you, that's when you made this. Yeah, isn't it? and Aww. and this has been a long time ago. Yeah, it has. Oh, I love that. Man. But it was it was just so pretty. Those sweet little flowers. Well, the neat thing is, well, while we have this out, I might as well tell you that. Um, Emma, didn't you come across this little picture of, of Andy? And she's going through archives. And so this is, how long ago was that? This is Kristen's youngest daughter. Not youngest. This is Kristen's second daughter, Andy. And she's a young lady now. But she is dressed in, I, we had notes here mm -hmm. that, um, that Janice Shelton, who owns Bonnie Blue Patterns, made this, made this little, um, pinafore that she has on so I'm going to go to the overhead and it's in a PK and it's little ruffles on the on the sh on the shoulders with a tiny little edging and so and it's this pattern so actually just yesterday Michelle made this uh, kit up and so we have we're calling it the Andy the Andy pinafore as if Michelle wasn't busy enough I said can you make a kit out of this place? yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> so she, she is so busy. She heard two of her, one set of her twins just graduated yeah. from high school, and she's been very busy with the family things. But that is so adorable. And then seeing it, <laughs> and Regina's then I saw dress, it this morning advertised, and I, I thought I already that. had it in the car. I thought yeah. this is a coincidence. It's yeah. so funny. That, that's neat. Yeah. So you can make it as a pinafore. You can make it as a sundress, and it is open on the sides, kind of like the old timey mm -hmm. one. So you could always put, a, you could always add a piece of something right under here. You or, could, but. But little girls, you know, it's like... Little girls don't care. It's not a big deal. I know. You know. I'm, I mean, when you look at big girls at what they're wearing, oh. little girls are not going to matter. <laughs> I made a... I, I think it was when Madeline was little, like a year and a half or something, mm -hmm. and I, I used a vintage pattern, a sunsuit pattern, and, you know, it just comes down here, and everything else is bare, and it had crisscross uh, straps, and it was cute as it could be. Mm -hmm. And my, my daughter-in-law told me that my son said... That's a little bear, isn't it? And she said, Jason, your mother made that. <laughs> <laughs> your mother made that. I don't think you yeah, have anything to so worry about. I don't think you like, need to talk yeah, about that. That's right. That's right. But it was cute on her. I know. I took my daughter, who's 15, and my two granddaughters, who are 14, over to the mall this week <laughs> shopping. I told them they could go and pick something out because they finished eighth grade. So we go to the mall, and they come out of the dressing room. I'm like, did you forget to put something on? I think you might need to go back and try something out. <laughs> Mimi, this is how it looks. I'm like, well, okay, but it needs to have some more added to it. You know, it's like, oh my goodness, like I just can't get over. We need about eight over. inches of ruffle coming <laughs> down on the bottom of that skirt. I was just like, and then they, they had on shorts that, and they, my mother came over for dinner and, and they were in the kitchen messing around and, and she's like, did they forget to put the rest of the legs on there? You know, she said, those things are so short. I said, Mama, I saw pictures of you wearing shorts that looked oh. like that way back when, you know. I said, she so what goes around that. comes around. That's Whoa. right. I said, you know, at 89, you have forgotten what you wore back then. <laughs> I, sometimes I try not to gasp, you know, when, because they're so, such cute girls and they're so sweet. I know, and they're good girls, but it's but like, like, that's a little short, isn't it? And um, then I'm then I had to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm not your I'm not your parent. Well, I don't know. I had to tell them the like, same. But I even said, Kaylee. But Kaylee is short. Well, Emma is the runner, and she's got really long legs. And so, if if it's just a little short, then on her it it's looks really real short because it shows so much. Yeah. Leg. Well, that's them. And then so I didn't really think because Kaylee mm -hmm. wears those same kind of little shorts. But on her but she's they look so like tiny. short. Yeah. But her legs yeah. aren't so long. That's right. When their legs are like five feet long, it's like. There's nothing there. That's right. <laughs> got a lot of legs hanging out. We're going to go back to, because oh, yeah. Regina made a bonnet. Wait, what? I have a quick yeah. um, comment I wanted to read. Yeah. This is from Patty Robinson, um, going back to the organdy. Mm -hmm. She said, my aunt would hand wash the organdy and then place it in a towel until it was damp, dry, and right. then steam it with a very clean iron and sometimes, if necessary, add starch. For right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So. That's how she would. That's, that's a good tip. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's kind of basically what I do because once you, you know, you use a wash away stabilizer on it, like on mm -hmm. these little doll dresses, I have to wet it to get yeah, that out. Right. And then I just roll everything in a towel and then I just lay it on the ironing board and then I go back and press it until mm -hmm. it's, you know, and it comes out fine. So, yeah. 
And usually if a little girl's going to wear an organdy dress, she's not going to get it really, really dirty. Mm. You know, they, they usually wear it to something fancier, mm -hmm. dress up, you know. And so they're, you wouldn't really have to worry about throwing it in the washing yeah. machine. You know, Might be so. able to touch it up a right. little bit. Mm -hmm. So Regina has made a lot of, of the collar overlays mm -hmm. by um, Joy Welch Applique for Kids. And we have recommended them many times. And so we have... We've come across a selection of whites, white fabrics that um, have like little woven dots or little tiny woven squares. Or they're, they're, they're a good weight, they aren't give, they? Yeah, and it just looks like it gives texture to what mm -hmm. you're making besides just a flat mm -hmm. white collar. You know, like you can make it out of broadcloth or, yeah. or batiste, but it's, yeah, it just adds right. a little something to it, you know. So we, we do sell these by the yard, but we've, we've also made sampler packs, and they're each one of these sampler packs has five different fabrics in it, and they're different from each other. So there are ten different fabrics total. And, that, and, and it's a big enough piece to make several collars That's or what overlays. I wonder, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's six, they're 60 inches wide yeah, oh, and yeah. a half a yard. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, I wanted to mention this again because Regina made a, a darling bonnet. It was in the last issue mm -hmm. of Classic Sewing Magazine. And gave it to um, Emma for her new niece. Yeah, and well, she I was said, so cute. Her picture was adorable, uh, wasn't no, it? No, it was precious. It, yeah. it was, it was sweet. So we said, while Regina is here, to say this is Regina, the machina recommended. <laughs> it is, and, <laughs> and they're great to have on hand because I mean, yeah. anything that you're using and you need a piece of white, you know, like actual collars, right. or you need the overlays right. or whatever. This, this, these are great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've got a little test for Regina since she's here, <laughs> because my mama told me she is testing my patience. I'm testing. <laughs> I'm testing. My mother told me we're gonna have a we're gonna have a a, a, a gather off. <laughs> she told me that I should pull and when when I gather I should pull my bobbin threads, and Regina said. You pull the top she thread. She pulls the top thread. So I we do it two, two completely different ways. Yep. And so I have, if you can, I have hot pink on one side and I guess that's orange. Orange on the other <laughs> side. So which which one are you going to pull? I'm pulling and the I'm pink. Gonna, you're going to pull the pink. I'm going to pull the orange. Okay. So here we go. And so then when, when we get done, I'll tell her which which one is the bobbin thread. Because, but see, it, it's amazing to me. My mom said, you don't want to pull the top thread because it'll tighten up on you. But Regina says, no, that, that's not how it works for her. It isn't. If you pull, if you pull the top thread and then you pull the bottom thread by mistake, if, you know, they're both the oh, same color will. thread, it locks up immediately. So if, if you just, you pick one. Yeah, you just pick one or the other. Then you're going to be fine. But I always just cut the back bobbin thread off, and then I don't see it. And then I know I'm not going to get it if it keeps coming that, through on that, this one. Oh, it's pulling it out. No, the bottom, the, the back bobbin thread's caught this one, not on that one. Anyway, we don't have see, to go from that end. No, I'm not doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having any trouble, Regina. No, you didn't like. You didn't get it, that bobbin thread pulled up. That back one. You know, how sometimes when you start right off, they kind of get tangled up, and they'll, they'll do a two stitch instead of one stitch. So <clears throat> when I'm when I'm actually gathering, and I because I don't want I do one of my too. threads to yeah, yeah one of my threads to go to pull faster than the other one. Mm -hmm. I wrap it around my fingers, and, and that way they they're all they all have the same tension. You yeah. do that too, don't you? Mm -hmm. And also, um, I always gather I always gather with polyester thread yes. because it's stronger, and uh, so that's that's one tip. I got that one done. See, it's all okay. I'm done. So they both gathered. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you which which is which. You pulled, you pulled the witch thread, the pink. Mm -hmm. I pulled the orange. All right. I'm gonna go the overhead, and you can, you can, you can rate us. <laughs> Actually, they look pretty good. 
deal. So how about that? That that just proves that you can use either one. Which you can really pull is either shock, side, whichever side you want to. Just don't lock them I, up. You just, but yeah. I always just pull the top because the, that's the thread that's up. You she, know. she didn't know, but the pink mm -mm. thread was my top thread. Is that right? Is that pink thread on there? <laughs> that pink thread on there? I think that's pink thread. Hot pink. Yeah. Yeah, and orange. The orange thread was the bottom thread. Mm -hmm. So, so I pulled the bobbin thread and it worked. And yeah. you pulled the top thread and it worked. It does. And but you know if you if you do that, I wish I would see what this does. See if we can make it do that. Oh, now it's t See? now it's locking. Yeah, so it doesn't yeah, want to do it. You so can't pull you one can't and go then back the other, and pull one and then try to it, start doing the tension the makes it too yeah, tight. It does. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. But when people ask too, if you see how these gathers look with the three threads, mm -hmm. they're much better than if you had two threads. If you had two threads, you yeah, know, it pops all you out, have right? a, a big. I'm going to go bubble. into overhead and you can show it. Yeah, it would have a a big bubble in between. You know, it would be it would be more than that. Plus, it's a little harder to hold it flat. I mean, you can you can actually sew between. I mean, I put these kind of far apart, but you can actually sew between your second and your third row, mm -hmm. and then pull that bottom um, that right. bottom thread out, and then it looks nice and mm -hmm. nice and even, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So there is our test. <laughs> And we, that both was won. Won. and we both, we both were winners <laughs> because I always say you always pull the bobbin thread and Regina's like she always pulls the top thread well it's because a class I took with somewhere and they said pull the top threads cut the bottom ones and pull the top ones and I was like okay well that makes sense because you are not going to turn back around because I can't tell you how many times you know you lay something down you get up to do something you turn back around you pick it up and you start pulling those long threads that are sticking out yeah and it's like, uh, <clears throat> now it doesn't work, you know, and, and I didn't know why it didn't work until they told me. And so that's why I cut those off. So you can either cut the top or you can cut the bottom off. It doesn't well, matter. One, one thing that I do, and I do it automatically now, that when I'm sewing my, uh, running my um, gathering threads, I cut the bobbin thread longer. So it's, the, the top thread is going to be short, and I, I did it automatically here, mm -hmm. but the, the, um, the top thread is going to be shorter. I don't trim it down, but... My bobbin threads are always longer, so they're because usually so you're, you do you're doing you're matching thread, mm -hmm. and and you and don't know which, don't one, know is which one is which. Yeah. And so, um, if they're longer, you can you can grab the bottom, right? The, whichever side you want to leave longer, and then it's easier to find because anything that makes it quick. The, yeah. the other thing is, um, and we've shown this before too. If you're gathering a, a big piece, let's say a skirt, you mark your mark your center front and your center back and then you're you know I quarter it mm -hmm. and then I mark it I mark it on whatever I'm attaching it to if it's the bodice or if it's a ruffle sewn to the bottom of the skirt I mark those quarters too and then then you line when you're sewing your, your gathers pulling your gathers up you pin it at the quarter spot right. mm -hmm. and then gather it up to that spot and then it's a lot easier to even it out and make it make it nice and smooth and yep. do you mind gathering? I don't mind gathering. Oh, no, I like to gather. Yeah, some people hate it, but... I know, I see it all the time on these, these pages, you know, where yeah. they're, oh, they hate gathering, and it's, and it's like, well, no, by the time you've done all the other work, you can just sit there and kind of pull and gather yeah, and do it, and you right. kind of relax at that that's point, right. you know, and it's not a big deal. So we've got all kinds of little goodies in here, including some wild-looking buttons. Oh, these How are wild. Emma I, found these fidget buttons, fidget yeah. spinners. And you can't see this as well watching the video as you can, as I can see now because yesterday I couldn't really see what it was doing. But right, oh, I mean, these are cool? so cool. I didn't even know that. It's like a kaleidoscope yeah, or something like is. that. It is. And so, these hats, I love these yeah, hats. Thank you. They're so, so funny. That's from the company um, JHB Buttons, JHB. Mm -hmm. And they're no longer in business, sad to say, because oh. we got lots of our um, novelty buttons from them. Cute little buttons. And then we have, uh, it's a nice big two-yard piece of um, linen that could make great tea towels. You can make those towels. beautiful tea towels they would be out really of those, nice. yes. And get some of Evie Hawkins' um, embroidery designs. Right, oh, and you, and it'll put be them so on there. fun. Mm -hmm. So this is our drawing today, and it was very fun to read yours. There, there oh, the, they are. The kids have disappeared. So yeah, we'll thankfully. leave it quiet back here. <laughs> <laughs> we won't call them. 
<laughs> they won't miss it. <laughs> uh, I hope that we can read whatever it is that they cut off. I wonder what, how Grandpa's doing. <laughs> oh, poor. Yeah. Let's see who our winner is. Hey. Oh, our friend. Betty Logan. Hey, Betty. I can see that light blue fabric for We Care gowns. Oh, yeah. Gabbing yeah. gush tomorrow. All right. Yeah, and then she just she tagged a friend. Tagged friend. All Nancy. right. Betty Logan. Hey, Betty. Hey, thank you. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, thank you, Regina. Well, thank you for asking me we, again. We kind of pulled it together yeah. at the last minute. <laughs> It's I think easy. We, we could talk this about sewing fun. anytime, yeah, right? It's, yeah, it's, uh, we could. All right. Thank you, everybody. Come back and see us soon. Soon. We don't know when. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay.